to you now. What do you think? Let's do it. So, to change the radiator, we have one, oh, two screws. One in the right, one in the left, and downside it's without bolts. First, is get some spray on these bolts. of oxide. Be careful here. It's very possible to find this pipe heavily oxidized. And now I will need to unbolt all the screws from the front bumper. be enough. Now I will uh, shut off the generator. It can stay here. If it goes to zero, there is a problem. There is a leakage. It can stay on negative pressure. Yeah. Houston, we have a problem. There is a leakage. Yeah, this is not good. But I think it will be easier to inject some refrigerant and see where's the leakage. bearing downside not good well let's change that ring great and I've changed the 
the ring and now let's do it again so the point is even if you use new parts that doesn't mean always that's a good part but anyway that said see now I hope it's okay I gotta turn, turn off the generator. Well, now it's okay. Next step now. Closed, closed. Here we have uh, 10 milliliters of oil and uh, contrast substance. Open this one. And as a bonus for all the guys who watch until this point, let's say your compressor is okay and you don't have any leakages, but still your AC doesn't work and you have a man truck, you will got to check this sensor, which is a temperature sensor. And here we will find interrupted or oxidated wires. So if you will have interrupted wires to this sensor, your AC compressor will not gonna start. 